technically do not invent anything mm -hmm. because God invented us and mm -hmm. he makes the way for us to do things like the human language system. So basically we didn't really like invent stuff like language on our own because we needed God to give us the wisdom and stuff like that for us to be able to invent something that we can all rely on. So you think uh, our language, uh, it's God. Charlton, cut it out. Do you think our language, it's God who gave us the language? Yes. God gave us the wisdom for us to make the English, Latin language that we know now. It's not us that we did it on our own. That, oh, God made us, but we have something in ourselves that's like God. No, God, he created everything. He gave us wisdom. But that doesn't give you the excuse to be bad and do bad things and sin because that's not what God gave us to do. There's God and there's, you know, the flesh and what the devil wants us to do. And that is different. The flesh is yourself and what you think is good for you. But even the flesh on its own is very useless without God because he is the one who invented everything including ourselves but it's our own thing our own um, consciousness that may deceive us from doing holy works of the spirit but I'm saying that you know like in Ghana we have so many different types of language so you are telling you are saying that God is the one who brings all the language that we speak in, in every country. Because I think that if, like, I travel to, like, the way I'm here with you guys and I'm speaking Chi, if it's not the English that I, I will speak because of Charlton disability and we are speaking Chi, you will speak Chi too. You think, like, we are speaking Chi, God is the one who taught us how to speak the Chi or... Um, chi, chi is what, it's like the English language. God helped, well, the Africans, Ghanians from that part to invent a language where they can all understand. God helped them to invent it. God did not like, you know, um, say this in, in Chi, this is Chi and demonstrate it. God gave, well, people the wisdom to mm. be able to create a system of languages that they can be able to communicate with. It's not us on our own that could have done it by ourselves, obviously. Oh, so you are saying that it's not like God didn't give like tree, like take the tree or take English, but he gave us a wisdom. The wisdom to create like a system of languages. You know, God gave us the wisdom, the things we need to create it. Mm -hmm. That's it, because I feel like you're getting confused when I say it, like all of that. Yeah, I, I, but I, I understand. But you said God don't l give us wisdom to sin. Oh, that's not what you said. Oh. No. Yes, that's what I said. God does not give us that to sin. That is from well, other spirits and from the wants of the flesh, which is not of the spirit. The wants of the flesh and the wants of the spirit go against each other. When you, let's say, you should not be eating all the cereal, it's you want to eat all the cereal, but obviously the Holy Spirit and the spirit that is within you is telling you not to because that is not in alignment with the will of God. Food too? That's the sin of gluttony. That's what? Gluttony. A sin of what? Like when you eat so much food, that's gluttony. Glutton? Gluttony. Gluttony. Yes. When you eat. <laughs> yes. It's a really? Sin. I even was surprised of that too. Yeah, but I know that when you eat too much. So it's a sin of what? Gluttony. Gluttony. Oh. So you eat too much. So that's a sin. Yes. Wow. I can't even believe it. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, but so you are saying that when you are eating too much, it's a sin of gluttony. Or maybe like something that makes more sense, wrath is like anger and the flesh and the devil will always tempt you to do things that are against the spirit because, well, that was how he was made or something. 
Penny told me that the devil, even he was in a line, he was once with God. Mm -hmm. Lucifer was an angel who had apparently made music to mm. praise God, but he wanted all the praise for himself. Mm -hmm. And so he tried going against him and then he became what now is the devil and is now trying to drag other people of God and has people that are not of God on his side to try to fall in line to go with what the flesh and the bad evil spirits desire rather than the Holy Spirit. So if you sin, it's not God who is making you sin. Mm -hmm. It's, it's not, not God. But it's what? It is the devil and yourself, the flesh. Mm -hmm. You are very much different than God, which is why we should train ourselves or our flesh to be more like God and unlike the spirit. Sorry, more like the spirit and unlike um, the devil and stuff that's outside of what God wants for our lives and what he promises us. So, so to train yourself, what do you do? You do things like resist temptation, like let's say... There's a situation that tries to make you angry. Instead, you focus on something else. I try like listening to music, but too much of that isn't really that good. Yes. Uh... So, um, and let's say resisting food, like telling yourself the bad things that could happen if you eat another bowl of cereal. Mm -hmm. And stuff like that can help you lean away from sin and get closer to God. Preach on, my daughter. Preach on. <laughs> okay so add, if everything that you you said it like if you put it in conclusion what does that mean penny get out from the room i told you don't go to your room today again so if you put everything together what is your conclusion of it i think the conclusion is you should try to be more on God's side and what he wants you to do. And to realize also, one, to try to be more like God and less than like the devil and try to focus on what's best for you. Two, is that um, we wouldn't have all the things like good things like knowledge and languages without God's help and how he has helped us. And three is that God does not make you do those bad things like sin and stuff. That is things from the devil and your own consciousness in your flesh. I see. I have to try more so that I won't sin. Me too. But technically, technical is good English. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> I always want to use that word technically, but I don't know how, where I'm, I'm going to put it. Like you have to say like, like yes. Um, Technically, you're, you're in love with that word. Okay, so technically, it's technically mm -hmm. is basically the word basically. Oh, basically. Oh, good. So. so technically, I don't really sin that much. Oh, <laughs> yeah, you know, you because I, I, you know, like what sin is like what? Okay, what I sin is like I don't go to church often. That's a sin. It's a sin, and if I don't you really. Don't, um, I feel like not going to church often depends. If you don't go to church because you have work to do and stuff like that, that's not really bad. Mm -hmm. But if you don't go to church because like you don't feel like it and you can go to church, then that's kind of not really yes. right. Yes. Yes. So I think I'm not. I, I I'm not working. It's just I don't feel so. That one is a sin, and I don't read Bible more like I used to. Not reading the Bible is not a sin. But it's not really not that good to not read the Bible. It's good to get... No, because it's in the Bible that if you don't read... Oh, they say if you read Bible, God gives you wisdom yes. or something. Okay. Yes. But not reading the Bible and stuff is not... Well, it depends. Like, if you know you should be reading the Bible and you don't, then that's kind of like a sin. Okay. But if you know, like, you should... But if you're reading the Bible, you're not reading the Bible because of stuff like that. It may not be as, well... A sin from you than it is like it may seem or something. So but I think that that's... shouldn't give you an excuse to not read. Your I know, I know, I know. I think you downloaded for me or you didn't. Somebody downloaded on my phone. 
I think it was Penny. Penny, and I have the Bible too. So I think that one, but I, I do prayers. My prayers, I don't play with it. Mm -hmm. I pray a lot. So, and maybe I'll get mad at you guys when I scream. That's not a sin. That's me disciplining you guys. It depends on what you feel while you do it. I feel love. Then it's not a sin. Yeah, because I feel like if I don't, you guys will not do the right thing. So if I have to scream, I have to scream because if I do, I can't cry. <laughs> you won't take it serious. Even now, even though I scream all the time, you guys still repeat it. So imagine if I didn't scream. So I do what I do because of what? Love and care. That's why. So why your face is <laughs> like that? <laughs> but it's true. I do it because of love. Penny, you see, I have called Penny how many times? <laughs> you see, then you will think that I'm, I'm mad. Me, yes, me, because no. I have called her and I have told her that we are all going to be yeah, downstairs. We can tell. Sometimes we know what we're doing. Oh, <laughs> bonjour, sapatois. Yeah. Your sister just said that sometimes you guys know what you are doing. It's not right, but you guys do it anyway. No, what do you have to? Anyway. What do you have to say back for yourself? Hey, I'm talking to you with your big... Uh, uh, I'm not that good at gospel preaching, though. I yeah. feel like Penny would have said everything. Oh, I know Penny. Penny, yes. Nothing, but it was good. I Thank you very much. You really educate me, and I understand. But I thought, like, the language, we come up with our own language, but you said... It's God not God is, give us the, the wisdom. Thing behind everything. God is the main God is the main thing behind mm -hmm. everything. That's a good title. God is the main thing behind mm. everything. <laughs> oh my God. Kaka, this is this that's beautiful. You know, like you, you what and you just are said. Are you proud of it's, me? Yes, but what do you where do you say God is it, main thing behind <laughs> everything that's so good because it's like everything that is going on in your life god is behind it oh, that's good mm -hmm. what what if it's good or bad mostly it's when it's good mostly when it's good okay all right